last interview. You well, guys. Last interview of today. Oh, today. USC. Last interview for today. Oh, Trojans. Okay. We're, bru we're, right, Bruins, we're Bruins, but it's okay. <laughs> well, you know, we spent five months in Baton Rouge, and all you see is LSU. Oh, There's no. It's just LSU. There's no. It's there's like, no Bruin like, and Trojans. We're, yeah, we're not just USC. One. Yeah, yeah just one. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's start off that, with that obvious question. Why now? Why, why are we getting this national treasure now after all these years? Because I, it was. I, I think because Disney Plus is ready to, to make it. I, I, you know, but we, and then we said, and then we said, it's the perfect time to re, not reboot, but to do the the new generation story, the story that is more. Um, is 17 years later. We do pick up directly from 17, like Peter Susky is 17 years older. You know, Riley's 17 years older. He's had a trilogy of books now. He's, he, you know, we pick up from that. But we, we just if we. And then people go, well, why, why the TV show, not the movie? Because if we were going to do a movie, it would be with Ben Gates. I don't think they would make the TV show because no one's ever heard. We can't say National Treasure and have Jess be our hero. So it was the only place that we could really launch I hold sort of our, our Peter Parker to Tony Stark. It's like people have never heard of Jess, <laughs> Jess so now they will. And it, would, you know, and it was just a perfect chance for us to do a female-centric version of the story. We did all the dudes and the founding fathers and all that in the last two, right? So, and all the historical figures of uh, those two. This time we want to do uh, female protagonist, female antagonist, Catherine Data Jones to, to add to the pantheon of the Ed Harris and the Sean Bean. And we wanted to do, because uh, we always say the treasure isn't the important thing, although it's very cool. Don't get me wrong. It's who hid it and why did they hide it? Like the Templars and why did the men hide, the, the people hide it? And why were the founding father? why did uh, Ben Gates' family try to find it? Like the, what was it, what did it mean to them and it can't just be about money? And the same thing is true about Catherine's character. Catherine's searching for the treasure too for things that are deeply personal and not about treasure at all. And uh, we wanted to, and the, and the person that hid the treasure is a very fascinating character that nobody really knows about that we hope to bring to light a female in history that uh, we wanted to bring some light to the females, uh, un unsung female heroes of our past. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we wanted, like Cormac said in the thing, is we wanted to tell the story of other people who came to the country other than the guys who came on the Mayflower. We wanted to tell the story of the indigenous people. We wanted to tell the story of the Latinx people, uh, people from Mexico that came in. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 growing up, my like I said, my father was from Ireland, but he, he grew up in Ireland in, in third grade. He, he moved to England, so he had learned he had learned Irish history. Then he goes to England and he learns English history, and he realizes the Irish are the bad guys and the English are the good guys. And then he comes to the United States and he goes, "Oh wait a minute, the English are the bad guys, the Americans are the good guys." So he kept going, "Oh, so whoever writes the history, that's the history." So he would always sort of like hammer us about that and say, "You know." So we didn't want to do just one point of view. We just didn't want to do one point of view. We wanted to show another point of view of the history of, of, of the, America. Of, of America. We always said it's 23 me for our hero and it's 23 me for our country. Let's take a look at it. What's the main thing, one thing that you are both most excited for fans to see in first, first of all, we're amazed that there's any fans at all. <laughs> we are. We, every time someone said, oh, we're a, we're a fan, we didn't. We didn't believe it, and it, the the kids would come on the show. I'm a fan, and Marianne are like, "Really? Are they are they a fan? Or are they just saying it?" So we're touched that there's any fans, um, uh, and because it's, it's 20 years later, I know, I know, it's, ama it's, it's amazing. I guess. And, most excited about the character, uh, Jess, because of who she is and where she came from and all the things that we can learn through her experience. Because um, we always say National Treasure is edutainment, you're going to learn, but you're also going to hopefully be entertained mostly. You might learn some stuff. Um, so that's important to us. But I'm also very excited to get to the episode where Jess finally says, I'm going to do it, I'm going to fill in the blank. 
and that's works. I'm ex I'm excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a practical aspect of television, which is you can't do a 10 hour Mission Impossible movie. It's too expensive. So, but that gave us leeway to do more relationship and more like daily life of like what it's like to be working and, and being young and trying to find your place in the world and that building up those characters before we get into the, although we get into the adventure very fast, but it did give us more leeway to do more romance. I, that's the part I like. I like the romance, the love triangle. <laughs> But we still do like capers. We had to do. It's a ten-hour movie in a sense that we have to. We do a lot of capers. We do do. It's not just one steal the Declaration of Independence. There are lots. So. How do you handle this in the writers' room with all your capers? Do you come up with the ultimate crime first and work backwards, or do you come up with like a bunch of mini ideas, especially for a ten-episode? Well. It's <laughs> a good question. It's it's like playing a three chord song. You just kind of have to like <laughs> mix it up because everyone's heard those three chords. Um, so when we do a caper, we normally build out from where is the caper going to take place? What historical place is it going to be? And how impossible is it going to be to get into that historical place? And let's figure out some ways of getting into it. You guys have all seen capers, so we have to kind of like do it in different ways every time because if you're going to do a caper you can't do the same you've seen it a million times and we our characters we even call it out <laughs> what we've seen yeah <laughs> so you'll, you'll recognize some of that uh, uh, and sometimes you want to come in the caper completely backwards and we'll we'll get someone say well why don't you just do it like a straight caper and we'll go we just did a straight caper we can't do another we can't do another straight caper you have to be boring people just heard that one you gotta yeah, it. you gotta come into it a little differently this time so. but we did have a writer's room and we did have lots of little ideas all the, all along we always had like sort of a big vision um, of what we wanted to do and what our ultimate caper was going to be but all the other stuff you know we did get a lot of help um, so, so both. I would say both in answer to your question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. That's it. You mean? Oh, uh, well. Oh, we we hope we hope. I mean, we we open the door for another adventure at the very end. So if the fans it's like it and Disney likes the ratings, <laughs> uh, but we definitely, Cormac and I are constantly thinking of like other things that we want to do and um, stories that we can tell with um, with our cast and um, oh, so knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I know it sounds bad, but I know you went from film, this goes from film to TV series. Does that set the door on film and we're going to stay in TV or maybe there is a possibility? Oh, no. That, you could use it? Oh yeah, we have two movies in development right now. One at Netflix. No, no, no he's talking about oh. National Treasure. Oh, National Treasure. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no, yeah. No, they're de no, no, they're developed. No, sorry. They're de they're de <laughs> don't announce things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, no, no. You're right. Uh, no, they, they, they've always wanted to make the third. It just hasn't happened yet. So in the meantime, we're hoping we're helping. Them. We hope we. We hope we can help them. Make the third. Yeah, the appetite for the third. I, I think the appetite for yeah, the third is there. It sounds like the appetite's there for a third movie. So, I mean, it it, it got there on Bad Boys Three and it got there on on Maverick, obviously. So I think it's they're ready, you know. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out soon. Yeah, we can't wait. I mean, we would love to see we would see National Treasure Three because it'll finally answer what's on page forty-seven. I know, right? Right? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you.